Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for another video. It's Blu-ray shopping day. It's Monday. Best day of the week. Well, maybe not for some that are going back to work. <laughs> so um, in a minute we're going to head out. Uh, hit the usual spots, Tesco's and Sainsbury's. Uh, I need to pop to HMV. Big title out this week, Wonder Woman. Uh, and HMV have got an exclusive still book. Now, I've already had 50 copies of the still book delivered. Yes, you heard right, 50. That's for the group buy. I need to pick up a couple of extra copies as well. Um, but I've also got, what have I got on the group buy going at the moment? I'm, on order, I've got probably 60 copies of War for the Planet of the Apes, 110 copies of Spider-Man, uh, and now I've just got shit loads of copies of the Mondo Blade Runner still book that's been announced. I reckon the Blade Runner ones, the Mondo ones, are going to sell out really quickly. So um, I've put the order in for those and paying for those straight away so that we can secure all the copies of those. So there's no mishaps when the time comes because if we can't get them, I don't think we'll ever get them. So that's that. Uh, a couple of other good things today. Uh, Lulu told me a couple of days ago that McDonald's have started selling Rolo McFlurries again. So we're going to hop by and pick up one of those because it's been years since I've had one of those. Uh, and also later today, Star Wars The Last Jedi. New trailer. Hopefully we can get to see it later on this afternoon. Um, I believe it's going to be shown during the NFL football game. So in the UK, normally on TV, we probably won't get it to the early hours of the morning, but hopefully it's going to leak online tonight. So we'll get a good look at that. And oh, Please, can we see some Porg in the trailer? It's not too much to ask. Anyway, they stop waffling and get out there and do some bit of Blu-ray shopping. We'll go over Westwood Cross and um, I'll see you over there. We are at Sainsbury's. Let's get up that escalator and see what there is. Oh, try not to get run over. So hopefully they've got a really good display at the top of the escalator. I imagine they'll have quite a large display just as we get to the top of it. Let's go and have a look. Oh, tight. It's like being at Disney. This is where the display normally is. Okay, where are we going? What? Oh no, you're joking. What a crappy little display. Oh, I'll just get down there and uh, check out the rest of the Blu-rays. They should have had a massive display. Bloody Sainsbury's, why don't they put some rubber tyres on their wheels, on their trolleys? Anyway, here's um, Wonder Woman's exclusive. Looks like it comes with some uh, free trading cards. So you get, uh, how many do you get? Four? Yeah, look at those. They look pretty good, don't they? So this is only uh, an exclusive at, uh, at Sainsbury's. But look at that, nice little gold embossed foil on there as well. So that's pretty good. That's, that's very neat. Uh, and also you get the uh, the 3D as well. I didn't have to put the 3D logo there, but I suppose just to show it. And plus also uh, a little advert there for Justice League. And then obviously they're trying to uh, advertise the others, Suicide Squad. And down here they've got um, Kong, uh, reduced down to £10. Uh, it's just a standard one, not the 3D. And here's the 4K Wonder Woman, £25. So that's got everything in there, except the 3D. So HDR as well. So that's pretty good. And here we are over on the DVD section. So there's the Wonder Woman. Same type of cover. Uh, looks like you get the art cards with the DVD as well. The DVD is £10. Uh, and a couple of uh, little low ones, little low budget ones. Cage Dive, 
Uh, that looks like, what was that one called? 47 metres down or something? 47 metres? Seven pounds. Uh, and there's also another disaster one. Tower at 35,000 feet. Where do you go where there's nowhere to land? Oh, kind of reminds me of Turbulence. Oh, I love that film with Ray Liotta. Brilliant action film that is. Uh, a couple of other ones there. Freehold, never heard of it. Let's walk around here to the TV section. There's the TV section. So, uh, Dr. Foster went to Gloucester. I oh, don't know if she really did, but series one and two on DVD there. Didn't really get into the series. Uh, and Grimm as well for £15, season six. So, I've been watching little bits of that. And uh, something else I don't really know what's Black Lake. I'm not too familiar with that. I just noticed on the Blu-ray section they've got some John Carpenter and Stephen King titles reduced. So they've got the brilliant They Live uh, for £7, Escape from New York. The Fog for £5, which is really good. That's a really good value. Uh, also Dark Star as well. Uh, and Christine as well. Brilliant. She's a killer. Brilliant for £6. Going to get book flurry. I hope. Through the drive through. Oh, here we go. Hello, can I have a Rolo McFlurry, please? Yeah. Is everything for you? That's all, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Rolo McFlurry, Rolo McFlurry. Fuck it now. Don't crash. Hiya. Hello there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. Waiting in the queue for my McFlurry. Waiting in the queue for my McFlurry. Yeah, <laughs> Someone's having a McFlurry in front of me. Hello. Hi, right? Thank you very Thank much. You. Cheers. Just going to find somewhere to park so that I can eat my McFlurry because I want to eat my McFlurry. Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da McFlurry. Oh, wow! Oh, look at that. Oh, that's what we did wrong, Lulu. Look, you can see inside. I'll tell you a little story. Years ago, when me and Lulu were at work, we worked at the same place, and we used to have, we used to get a Rolo McFlurry, and it's the best Rolo, it's the best McFlurry, basically. Um, it was very limited, so after a certain while, they stopped doing it. So we thought, how the hell can we have a Rolo McFlurry? So we did our own. We popped off to McDonald's, got a basic ice cream, bought a packet of Polos. Polos? Bought a packet of Rolos. <laughs> oh God, that would have been weird, wouldn't it? We bought a packet of Rolos and we plopped them in the ice cream. Left it for about five minutes. It's like fucking eating gobstoppers. Christ, I'm surprised we've got any teeth left. So now I know what they've done. The, the actual chocolate is hollow. That's why it don't break your gob. 
because obviously a, an actual whole Lolo froze. Uh, and that was why it was like fucking eating stones. Ah, right. So there we go. Yeah. See? All of the chocolatey goodness of a Rolo. And we still get to keep our teeth. <laughs> right. I'm going to carry on shoving this in my gob and I'll meet you down Tesco's in a minute. <coughs> Hot fuzz! Oh, fucking brain freeze! <laughs> oh, my head's going to explode! Luckily, my head didn't fucking explode after that McFlurry. Fucking hell, brain freeze. So we're down there at Tesco, so we're just gonna pop in there and have a look, see what they've got. Oh, another little display, all on its little alone. Come on, where's the big displays? Okay, so there's some weird shit called the marker. Uh, I don't know, it looks pretty foreign to me, but never heard of that. And up here uh, you've got uh, Ninjago, Hands of Time, so it's one of the, uh, the little animated ones before the new film opens this week. Probably going to go and see that, it looks pretty good. And also up here um, is something called the Wonder Woman film book, a 64 page film book. I, I guess this is a digi book, what they call it, the, the, uh, the digi book. So um, I think the US one had a lenticular cover on it. No, this one's not. So uh, yeah, it's pretty basic. But yeah, twenty-two pounds. I don't really collect digi books. And also down here uh, is the Batman v Superman. So this looks like Ultimate Edition. This looks like it's the the digi book as well, or the film book. So I think they're just probably getting them all out, releasing them all. It says new there, fifteen pound. But I don't know if that's previously been out. And, oh, I bet that one's a, I bet that's a film book as well. Suicide Squad. Yeah, there you go, 64-page film book. Just call them digi books. that's what they are. So, I mean, if they all had lenticular covers, I probably would have bought them. I'd heard this film's pretty bad with Shia LaBeouf, but three quid on DVD already. Christ. Be in Poundland next week. And there's one up here for Lou as well, Outlander, which is a bit of a, it's a bit like Sense and Sensibility or, or uh, Downton Abbey. Uh, but it's about time travel. So everything that Lou loves, all in one package. <laughs> I don't think so. So they had the, uh, the film books in there for Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman and uh, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Um, really they're digi books but they're calling them film books. But I was surprised that the Wonder Woman didn't have a lenticular cover. I believe in the US it's got a nice lenticular cover that switches from Wonder Woman to Diane. So um, that was a bit dull but uh, I suppose we can't get everything over here so we're going to pop over now to Poundland and HMV and see what they got over there.
Okay, folks, so just come out of Poundland. They had even less in there than they did last week. So literally two Blu-rays on the shelf and just empty space. So I think we'll give them a little while. We'll give them a week or two, hopefully to get some more stock. Uh, HMV. Da -da -da -da, extra copy. So that's good. So I think that's about it for the shop. Um, we're going to head off home now. I'll show you what I've picked up. Uh, and also um, maybe we'll ask Alexa some Wonder Woman shit. See if she knows anything about that. See you at home. Oh yeah, baby. Big Paulie's got a new t-shirt. The Nakatomi Plaza, Los Angeles. Welcome to the party, pal. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that little shop out there. I know I was suffering with that sodden brain freeze, but serves me right for shoveling it down too quick. Anyway, on to this week's big release, which is Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, I have really got to stop singing. <sighs> right, so I've had loads of still book deliveries. 52 copies, no, 50 copies with a couple more coming um, for the group buys. And when you get the odd one or two, you come through. Look at that. <laughs> Totally buggered. But hey ho, that's no problem. We're getting them replaced. So these floater as well. So both of these going back to HMV. And new ones are already on their way anyway. So we'll just get those replaced. So there's this week's title. Uh, I'm going to do an unboxing for this. Uh, but I'll do it in a separate video. So I'll upload that shortly. So there wasn't anything else picked up today. Actually, there wasn't anything. I was going to say there wasn't anything picked up at all. But yes, I did get one copy of this in HMV, didn't I? Stupid boy. So um, moving on to Blade Runner 2049. As I said at the beginning of the video, this is a Mondo release on HMV. So it's got 4K... 3D, 2D, 1D, <laughs> digital copy, all the kind of shit in that. Um, but we don't know the artwork yet, but I figured it best to secure the copies now if we can. So thank you very much for those people that have actually sent your payments. Um, I will update the spreadsheet uh, within the next day just to show that. Also check the spreadsheet out on the group buy as well for Wonder Woman, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and Spider-Man. It should mainly be completely updated now. Um, and for anybody that's, that's asking the question that I don't see my name on the list, I only put it on the spreadsheet once payment's received. Otherwise I'm going to end up with a spreadsheet that's probably about two miles long. So once payment is made, then it goes on the spreadsheet. But old fashioned way, I do keep a note of all the group buys, pages and pages and pages. I know this is very ancient, very old and look at that, fuck it out. So yeah, it's a very old fashioned way of doing it, but it works perfectly for me. I'm, I'm e I can easily keep track of everything so don't always rely on these high quality word processor spreadsheet shits so pen and paper I know Lulu would say that's terribly old-fashioned for you so anyway um, I think it's probably time to ask Alexa some shit ask Alexa shit Alexa what films has Gal Gadot been in? The films that Gal Gadot is a cast member of include Wonder Woman, The Justice League Part 1, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, 
Fast and Furious 7 and Keeping Up with the Joneses. Alexa, Wiki Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is a fictional superhero appearing in American comic books published by DC Comics. The character is a founding member of the Justice League, goddess, and ambassador at large of the Amazonian people. The character first appeared in All Star Comics No. 8 in October 1941 and first cover dated on Sensation Comics No. 1, January 1942. In her homeland, the island nation of Themyscira, her official title is Princess Diana of Themyscira, daughter of Hippolyta. When blending into the society of man's world, she adopts her civilian identity Diana Prince. The character is also referred to by such epithets as the Amazing Amazon, the spirit of truth, the Miss Kira's champion, and the goddess of love and war. And one hot chick too. Alexa, Wiki DC Comics. DC Comics Incorporated is an American comic book publisher. It is the publishing unit of DC Entertainment, a subsidiary of Warner Brothers Entertainment Incorporated, a division of Time Warner. DC Comics is one of the largest and oldest American comic book companies and produces material featuring numerous well-known heroic characters including Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, The Flash, Aquaman, Hawkman, and Green Arrow. Most of their material takes place in the fictional DC Universe, which also features teams such as the Justice League, the Justice Society of America, the Suicide Squad, and the Teen Titans, and well-known villains such as the Joker, Lex Luthor, the Cheetah, Harley Quinn, Darkseid, Catwoman, Ra's al Ghul, Deathstroke, Reverse Flash, Sinestro, Black Adam, and Brainiac. The company has also published non-DC Universe-related material, including Watchmen, V for Vendetta, and many titles under their alternative imprint Vertigo. The initials DC came from the company's popular series Detective Comics, which featured Batman's debut and subsequently became part of the company's name. I wonder what a reverse Big Paulie would be like. <laughs> Ask Alexa shit. Well, folks, I think that's about it. That's enough of Alexa's shit. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. And me and Winnie, Wonder Winnie, will see you on the next video. Bye.